was fated into eternal service from the beginning. Since it's implied that Gundyr expected to meet a Firekeeper, he was likely meant as a candidate for linking the fire. Those capable of linking the fire are named Lords of Cinder, beings capable of bringing back the world from the brink of darkness by linking the first flame. Indeed, the game speaks of three Lords of Cinder who have already linked the fire, and they're being resurrected as a last resort to link it once again. In the opening cutscene, you saw them. Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, Yorm the Giant, and Farron's Abyss Watchers. Each of these lords once had an age of their own, and the remnants of their age lives on in Dark Souls 3 and in their resurrection. For example, Aldrich is linked to these bosses and their stories, the Abyss Watchers are linked here, and those in Lothric are conjoined here. For simplicity's sake, we're going to discuss these stories in three chunks, starting with Aldrich, Pontiff Sullivan, Vort, and the Dancer, who all reside in the Boreal Valley. The Boreal Valley is currently ruled over by Pontiff Sullivan, a tyrant who sends his outrider knights to serve as his watchful eyes and his guards. And the first knight of Pontiff Sullivan we meet is Vort, an outrider knight who ambushes us as we attempt to leave Lothric. So, the Outrider Knight's job is to keep an eye on things. Sullivan's Knights are also described as his watchful eyes and his punitive blades. Each Outrider Knight is provided with a ring by the Pontiff, which transforms them into frenzied beasts and lures them into battle and death. Specifically, the two main Outrider Knights we see are the Time Lord and Lockwood, here in both points of progression in the area. So, perhaps they serve as strategically placed guards in order to keep them from aggression and celebrate the eyes of the world. When you went through Irithyll, I'm sure you noticed.